Friends, today we are going to talk about the demo of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero and the performance issues that fans have noticed. Anime Expo made the demo of Sparking Zero playable and even though a lot of people said it was fantastic, some of the participants have claimed that it was laggy, some even said that the gameplay felt slower than how it looked like on YouTube. For starters, I have to say I live in Europe, so I had no chance to play the demo, but I have a lot of friends in America that were fortunate enough to play it and I have reached out to them to ask about the current state of Sparking Zero and they indeed confirmed that the game is laggy. Now why does this happen? Why is it that the demo at Anime Expo is worse than what the YouTubers had? Were they lying to us all this time? Can it be that all the Japanese footage that we can see on the internet also had these issues but intentionally got cut in a way fans didn't recognize? So the YouTubers were definitely not lying, they had 30 minutes to play Sparking Zero at Summer Games Festival, you can even check out Globku's channel, he uploaded all the footage uncut, the only reason why he cut some parts of his video is to remove the downtime between games, so he didn't cut the game at all, he only cut the menu itself. The Japanese demo was definitely better than any we have seen so far, the game just looked more polished every time anything happened on the screen, so it's safe to assume that either their version is the latest playable demo or the one at Anime Expo. With all that out of the way, why is it that the demo at Anime Expo had poor performance? As someone who have held multiple local tournaments, I can confidently say that organizers tend to cheap out when it comes to the setup of the game. They buy the cheapest TV, the cheapest stand, the cheapest controllers, cheapest PC or console they can get their hands on because of the nature of local events, you have to have multiple game stations where players can play the game. When I was at Gamescom trying out Naruto Storm Connections, I also felt sometimes performance issues and the controller kept dying every single time. It's basically them not being fully prepared for every instance. As a content creator myself, I have also experienced myself that the games being shown behind closed doors and on the floor where hundreds of people can play is different. Behind closed doors, even the demo version you get your hands on is far more superior than the one the average players get on the floor and I haven't even talked about the equipment. These companies expect creators to upload their experience to YouTube, they have to make sure the game won't have performance issues, otherwise the whole world will know the game is not ready. That being said, recordings usually are only allowed behind closed doors. When you're playing these games at their public version on the floor, the event organizers don't even allow you to record footage, so all the YouTubers that uploaded their experience either did it in secret or the staff members just didn't care and unknowingly have damaged the reputation of the game. I know this because Jesus Guys and Curse Clash before its release was not allowed to be recorded at the events. If I'm being honest, I can understand this, people don't like it when they get recorded and as I have said a minute ago, it can damage the reputation of the game. JJK was pretty much dead even before its release, Everyone was talking shit about the game on social media, including content creators. Of course the game could still have performance issues, but this is just one example of why Dragon Ball Sparking Zero was lagging. This doesn't mean I accept the excuses, I hate it when a game is being demonstrated to the public and has issues that shouldn't happen, you're literally showcasing how the game works and prior to release players have to deal with a laggy game. It just makes everyone more worried. Nobody should have to explain to the average user why his version of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is bad. This just shows the game in a bad light. While recording this video I also got some more information that the console was literally inside the box to prevent anyone stealing it, but there was no ventilation. If you have ever owned a console you know fully well that you cannot just put your PS4 or PS5 into a dark corner, otherwise it's going to overheat and even shut down. My first experience with my PlayStation 3 was when I got my hands on Naruto Storm Generations and during the middle of that game my console just shut down because my stupid brain told me that there won't be a problem if I put the PS3 under the desk of my TV where there was no ventilation at all. Now I do gotta say that even though this seems to be an Anime Expo exclusive problem, I would still raise these concerns either on Twitter or on YouTube to make sure the developers behind Sparking Zero learn of these mistakes, so even if it turns out that the game is poorly optimized, they will know exactly what to check out to meet the expectation of the fanbase. And who knows, 
We know that this isn't the last time we will get our hands on Sparking Zero before its release. Bandai Namco has released their roadmap of when we can play Sparking Zero up until its release, they might fix these issues, maybe at the next event we will have a different experience. Also, is it just me or does Bandai not have a roadmap outside of America? Like, I live in Europe, I know Gamescom is coming. Can we get a confirmation that Dragon Ball Sparking Zero will be playable in Germany? Bandai! PLEASE! So yeah, that's pretty much the reason why Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is having performance issues, the reason why sometimes it slows down, the reason why it is laggy. Basically the staff at Anime Expo messed up, but do tell me down in the comments if you have experienced these issues, feel free to send me some Sparking Zero footage on my Discord in one of the highlight channels, I'd love to learn more about the game. The other day I have raised a few concerns that anime games usually have on release, I highly recommend you to watch that video, I got a feeling that Sparking Zero will also run into these problems. That's gonna be it for today guys, I hope you all have had a fantastic day, stay safe, on to next time boys, peace!